Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about creating custom rules in Microsoft Outlook. So custom rules are actions that are automatically performed on email messages based on conditions that you would specify. So you can create custom rules without using a template and there's a lot of different options you can go about for setting each specific rule. We're not going to get too much into the specifics on today's tutorial, just more of a broad stroke of how to go about creating such rules. And then you can look into specific rules or make whatever changes you need on your specific Outlook instance. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up Outlook, select the File tab up at the top left. And then where it says rules and alerts, use rules and alerts to help organize your incoming email messages and receive updates when items are added, changed, or removed. Select the manage rules and alerts button. And then at this point, you go ahead and select the new rule button if you want to create a new rule. And you can select one of the default presets here, or you can go ahead and start from blank rule as well. So basically, the most popular ones are going to be up here at the top. And then you can go ahead and create a custom one if you so choose to do so. But let's just say we're going to select one that's flag messages from someone to follow up. Let's select that one, and you can see there's an example down here. So flag mail for my manager to follow up today. Select the next option, and then you would have to select yes. And then what conditions do you want to check? So you can select specific people. If your name's in the carbon copy box, I mean, you can basically customize this pretty extensively here. We're just going to select from people or public group, and then select next. And then once you made your selection for step one, then step two, edit the rule description, click an underlined value. So either from people or public group, and then you would select next, and then you would finish creating the rule at that point. But that's a pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.